Yo, how's it going everyone? So you join me in the tech block living room. I know you haven't seen it in a long time. We have a plant over there. It's awesome. But today's video is not about plant. It's about LED light strips behind your TV and how to stick LED light strips onto your TV or onto the back of your TV, not onto the front. Don't do that. Sticking an LED light strip to a TV is pretty damn easy. You know, anyone can do it. It's really not hard. But Keeping the LED light strip stuck behind your TV, and that's a whole different story, all right? That's a whole different question. The last thing you want is to have your LED light strip dangling below your TV where you can actually see all the individual LED lights. It's just not a good look. You don't want this happening to you. Let me show you what's going on behind this TV and how I've stuck the light strips to this TV. And by the way, I'll leave links down below in the description to the light strips I've used. And there's even a discount code that I can give you guys. So there'll be a code in the description that you can use to get some percentage off if you want to buy these fancy LED light strips. You don't have to use these. You can, of course, use whatever light strips you want. I've added these plastic clips. Now, this is actually all I've used and all you need to use as well, because the adhesive found on the back of your standard LED light strip, even these really good LED light strips that I have here, the adhesive unfortunately will probably let you down, especially if you stick it to a hot surface like the back of a TV. So when your TV gets hot, it's just going to melt the adhesive from your LED light strip and your LED light strip is just going to fall off. So in order to prevent this, what you need to buy is these plastic cable clips that you can barely see because they are tiny and they are see-through. But these are basically plastic cable clips and you can actually go ahead and take off the LED light strip. We'll just take it out of the plastic cable clip right there. And the cable clip, cable clip, I'm calling it a cable clip. I guess you could use this as a cable clip instead of an LED light strip. All it is is just a clip with adhesive that you stick behind any surface really. Now I do have one that I took out of the TV already just to show you what this thing really is. All you got to do is like stick these on with some pressure onto the back of the TV. Obviously make sure there's no dust on the back of your TV. It's not wet. I don't know why your TV would be wet, but you know, make sure it's not damp. Just stick these on to a nice dry surface. That's kind of like some tips and tricks for LED light strips and how to stick them onto the back of your TV or any surface really. But, but what I've gone ahead and done with this TV has genuinely worked so well. These light strips have never fallen off since. Like not a single one of the clips have let me down. This is actually the correct way to stick your LED light strip to the back of your TV. It definitely worked out for me. By the way, this is an 88 inch TV or 86 inch TV. It's an enormous TV. I've actually had to end up using two, two meter LED light strips for this TV model. So if you want to do like a similar setup to mine, bear in mind that if you have a TV this size, you will need to probably end up buying two LED light strips. Now, the ones that I have here are from a company called Colo Light, and you can go ahead and just control this light strip using Apple HomeKit or the Colo Light app. So they also work with Amazon Echo. They work with your Google Assistant. They support basically everything, but what makes them really stand out from the crowd is the fact that they support Apple HomeKit. And on top of that, these light strips are genuinely very impressive in terms of their LED lighting effects as they can display multiple colors on the same light strip at the same time, which is something not all LED light strips can achieve. I've gone ahead and opened up one of the 30 LED versions right here. And with these, you might be able to get away with plugging in the 30 LED versions into the back of your TV and having them run without any problems whatsoever. However, if you plug in the 60 LED version into your back of your TV, I can't guarantee that it's gonna actually power up or power on, but maybe not at full brightness, for example, there might be some limitations if you plug it into a TV or just a USB power source that can't output enough power, essentially. So the way to get around this and the way I've powered mine up, as you can hopefully see, I've not plugged mine in into the back of my TV. Instead, I've bought a separate hub. It's a four port USB hub just down there. I'm, I'm going to play some B-roll footage so you can see what I'm talking about. But that hub is just four USB ports and it can give enough power to power these light strips. And the way this LED light strip even connects up, in case you're wondering, there's a hub right here that has like the Apple HomeKit scanning code there that you can just go ahead and scan and then you'll have the device on Apple HomeKit. Of course, you can just download the Color Light app and it'll, it'll work the same. Yeah, you plug in the LED light strip into the hub and then the other end plugs into either your TV 
or a dedicated USB power source. These light strips did come with their own adapter with a USB port. This is the American version. You can even go ahead and group two LED light strips and use them as if you're, you're using one. So I used two LED light strips, but that actually was fine because I just combined them both within the app. And then even within Apple HomeKit, I can use two of the LED light strips as if it's actually one and they can still do all the fancy effects. So I approve of this light strip and I bet if you get them too, you're gonna be happy as well. And I'm not just saying that cause like, I work with a company, please buy these, but they are really good. So please buy them. Apart from that though, that's literally it. I'll leave links down below in the description of this video to where you can buy those plastic cable clips to actually properly stick the light strip to the TV. Like I said, using the adhesive on the back of the light strips probably isn't gonna work out for you. They fell off the TV for me and chances are they're gonna probably fall off the TV for you. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you can stick your light strip to your TV much easier now after watching this. Links in the description down below to everything I talked about, of course. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.